Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Monday to you all. Or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully you're having a great day nonetheless. This is going to be a little bit of an interesting release to check out today because Kepler are back with their full-length album. Yeah, full-length album. Ain't that crazy? We finally got one, eh? Um, but this is also going to be a little bit of a bittersweet one, I think is the right way of phrasing it. Because this is Kepler's Shooting Star, part of their Kep One Going On uh, studio length album. Or is it called Kep One Going? I forget what the album is called. But this is going to be a monumental release in the terms of the K pop world, especially if you have been following survival show groups for a while. Because Kepler are now officially the first Mnet produce slash planet survival show winning group to extend that is an insane feat if you really think about it but uh, admittedly it's not going to be with all nine members because unfortunately mashiro and yeso i almost called i almost said yeshiro and yeshiro twice um but the two members over from 143 are unfortunately no longer going to be continuing with group activities following this era, and it's never a fun time when a group loses a member. Trust me, I have been through enough of that, and it doesn't get any easier. But it's not a complete disbandment, and that in of itself is something to worth uh, something worth celebrating over. And another thing worth celebrating over is the full length album, and. Honestly, Kepler have really hit their stride when it comes to music in the last year, at least from my taste. They have been producing spectacular releases after spectacular releases, and I've been thoroughly impressed with what they can do. So, let's check out what Shooting Star is like, shall we? And, album, we will be doing an album listen. I'm going to do that tomorrow because we have too many releases today to get through that, and I kind of want to wait for album uh, lyric videos to drop in the meantime. So, Tomorrow, album listen, today, MV. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go! Man. It's nice that I can approach this with... A happier mind because of the fact that I know we're going to get more Kepler music in the future because I my one of my alt groups back in the day was eyes one the what two generations predecessor of Kepler because they had x1 afterwards but when it came to eyes one I didn't realize back in the day that panorama was going to be their last full studio release of course you know we got did the dance uh the universe single and we got zero attitude but back then i didn't realize that my alt group was going to have their final release the fact that that concern isn't here anymore makes this a lot more palatable but it still does hurt that i am losing one of my bias in the group because i i my, my bias line in this group is the 99s i love mashiro to bits and it's a shame that we're not going to be able to see her and yeso in the group anymore after this but it it is what it is i guess and you know what before i get too down in the dumps about it let's check this one out because i've kept you enough so here we go bump up the volume as loud as it can go in my ears hold on let the synth be kick Oh, we are cooking, cooking. Hold on a second. Making an impact and sucking me in. Hold on a second. Oh, 
That is a magical release. I've just transcended. I am no longer on this point of existence anymore. Straight into the release for the second verse. This song is just straight gas. It just goes and goes and goes. And I don't care that it's such a fast song. It just goes. God, Chaehyun's delivery on that fly high like shooting stars is gorgeous. say it is this my favorite kepler song that they've ever done oh i might jump in the gun a little bit this oh, you know what in terms of title tracks this 100 percent is my favorite kepler title track they've ever done it's so good oh my god it's so good it shines it sparkles it's gas wow sorry i don't know how loud i was screaming during that but I am amped. That was brilliant. It was so good. Look, I'm gonna hold my hands up. I love a synth pop song. This song has so much synth going on and it's fast. Synth, fast. Put them together, the final execution. Already, we're off to a great start because it's got two of my favorite things. It's got a nice, fast, Pacey beat synthesizer. You pair that vocal line on top, and it is magical what they've done with this. And genuinely, when I said earlier that they've really found their stride, let me tell you, they held off the best for last. And while there's a small part of me that's like, why didn't we get this sooner? A big part of me is like, thank God we reached this point in the first place because wow. This is magnificent. You know what? Let's go to the beginning again. I can talk about the song for hours, but we'll go to the first verse and just run it. It's almost, um... It's like the distant cousin of Back to the City a little bit. Or at least that's the impression I got right at the beginning when we got that repeating, like, really quick synth going. It's just like, oh, we're back in my element. Because Back to the City is also one of my top uh, Kepler B-sides. And it's like, hmm, I'm back. I'm back. We are in this headspace. I am ready to enjoy this. And... This speed increase. You know this song already has legs. Like, this song is going to run off at some point, but the way they just ease it in is so nice. It's not like an immediate, they're just gonna drop it in. They ease your way into it, and it makes that transition so nice.
My God. This moment. There's a phrase, contrast creates focus. A lot of times it's used in filmmaking, but the phrase rings true for really any application. Humans love contrast, whether it's the sense of touch, the sense of hearing, the sense of sight, like whatever human sense it's targeting, we love a moment of contrast. It does not get any more contrasty than this pre-chorus. As this song chugs, right? So, oh, much. This song is chugging now. We are moving. All of a sudden, everything is gone. We have gone into this digital world, a la... It's almost like approaching Nirvana, Anamanaguchi, like that vein of just sudden digital vocals. And, you know, cut that beat away. The instrumental is gone. It's almost like the song has just been, voom, airlocked out into the vast expanse of space. There's nothing else right now apart from the vo vocals, apart from the vocals. That moment sucks in, like, sucks in the attention of the listener so well. Because it doesn't get any more of a contrast than really fast and just nothing. And then even here, we're building the beat. Still digital. Slowly bleed it in. Slowly bleed it in. Full release. And this full release is magic. I reckon Yuji and Stan are probably very happy with this release from the amount of like screen time and vocal line she's getting. I've been new, and I think we all been new that Chaehyun's got the vocal pipes. But her delivery in the finish for this chorus is magical. There, like, this is the Chaehyun vocal moment for me. Her voice in a Kepler song has never twinkled as well as this moment here. And then the immediate transition into just straight 250 mile an hour rappers. I love a little one-two rap verse. We get contrasting vocal styles again. I love a little bit of contrast. And the fact that, you know, the flow itself really doesn't change up a whole lot, but we get two of them. We get two different voices coming together and it just goes. It, it doesn't give you a chance to breathe after your vocal moment at the end of the course. We're just gonna go, go, go. And I guess we don't get that big moment uh, in the what? The big complete cutout in the second pre-chorus, but the effect is still there, right? You really muffle out the instrumentals and you kind of bleed them back in again. And it's... Yeah, that is straight gas. And honestly, to hold off, on the crowning moment in their discography with the final release is <sighs> they're so good they're so good and they've just gotten better and better and better what's scary is the fact that they're going to continue to get better how much farther can they go that's what terrifies me about kepler is it has been a continual just increase in the level of their music, every single release, to the point where I don't even know what's possible anymore. But knowing them, they're gonna find a way to make that extra jump into the next level with their next release, and that terrifies me. But all in all, I cannot be happier with this release it's so good it's the ultimate kepler song for me it showcases the talents of everybody 
everyone's got a nice big moment in the song you it's a song that sucks you in and you're along for the ride and you don't care if you can't get off of it <sighs> that's it that's it for me uh, okay let's wrap it up here um Album listen, tomorrow, I'm so here for it, because if the title track is this good, we're bound to get a B-side that's even better than this, and, um, yeah, I'm very excited for that, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested, but that is gonna be it from me today, thank you all for watching along with me, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did, one last request from me today, let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street, just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day-to-day, -day, and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.